Hi, and welcome to another special holiday cookie edition of Center Stage Sweets. Today, instead of honoring a particular show, we're actually gonna honor a well-known phrase in musical theater, the triple threat, which for those of you that don't know, that refers to a performer who is a proficient actor, singer, and dancer. So they can do all three, and they're really impressive. I'm always amazed when I see them. So to honor them, I wanted to make a dessert that combines three major flavor concepts, sweet, salty, and spicy. So to do that, I have decided to make Mexican hot chocolate cookies. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the concept of Mexican hot chocolate, usually what it consists of is your chocolate with a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of cayenne pepper for a little heat. Don't worry, it's not overly spicy. It's just a little like after note that comes in. And then to finish it off, to get that savory, we're gonna sprinkle the cookies with a little sea salt after they're done. So to get started on the cookie, I have two sticks of unsalted butter and one and a half cups of sugar. And we're just gonna cream those together. Now that our sugar and butter are all creamed together, we are gonna add in three eggs and we're just gonna add them in one at a time. And to this mixture, we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and give it another quick mix. Now for our dry ingredients, I've already sifted together four cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. And we're just gonna add it in in three additions to our wet ingredients. Now that our cookie dough has come together, we've got one last little addition for it before it goes into the oven. So we're actually gonna add in a cup of chocolate chips and you can use whatever kind of chocolate chips you want. Today, I happen to have mini chocolate chips on hand. I've also used dark chocolate chips, plain old regular chocolate chips. It really won't affect it too much. It's all about what your personal preference is or what you feel like doing that day. So I'm gonna add in that cup of mini chocolate chips. Again, whatever you have or whatever you would like to add in, totally okay. I'm just gonna give it a quick mix. And sometimes because this is a tougher dough to work with, you may have to mix this last part by hand totally okay. I would just recommend taking off any jewelry you need to beforehand. That's the other thing too. If you notice that it's not mixing as well as you'd like, just stop, clean off your beaters and go back to it. It helps a lot. Okay. So I'm going to take off the jewelry and I'm just going to hand mix in the chocolate chips a little bit better. A nice trick, if you're working with the mini chocolate chips like I am, they fall to the bottom of your bowl a lot easier. So just mix the dough into a ball and then use it to kind of pick up the chocolate chips. And then you can kind of turn the dough into itself so that they more evenly distribute throughout your dough. All right, it looks like our dough is good to go. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees and now I'm just gonna form my cookies. So I've got my large scoop, the kind of golf ball or meatball size. 
just gonna take it and make sure that it's evened off at the bottom. And then, I probably should keep the jewelry off while I do this part. Um, we're gonna just roll them into nice little balls and then just keep going on making the cookies. All right, we're gonna pop these into the oven for eight to 10 minutes. We'll see you then. I've been over at the stove making the topping for our cookies and this is where that heat factor is gonna come in. I dissolved a quarter of a cup of sugar in a quarter of a cup of water over medium heat. Then I added one cup of chocolate chips and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you throw in that cayenne towards the end just as the chocolate chips are starting to fully melt. And then you just keep stirring it in until it's nice and smooth. And from here, we've got to move kind of quickly. So we're gonna take our cookies and we're gonna dunk them in just the tops of them, you a little swirl around, shake off the excess, and we're gonna put them on one of our other trays that has already cooled and still has its parchment paper on it because we're gonna put them in the fridge afterwards just to get this little shell on top of it to harden. And you can put them close to each other. You don't want them touching, obviously, but they don't need like room to spread as they would in the oven. And just be careful with your fingers. It is going into you know just melted chocolate, so it might be a little bit warm. So just be prepared for that. And after every couple of rows of these that we do, just to make sure that we're hitting them while the, the, while the chocolate is still uh, nice and warm and wet, we're gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of flaky sea salt. And that is the third. So we have the sweet of the chocolate, we have the spice of that cayenne, and then the, the savoriness of that sea salt. It's gonna be absolutely delicious and decadent. So like I said, now that I've got about two rows of these done, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flaky sea salt right on top of each of our cookies. You don't need to go overboard with the salt, a little bit does go a long way. I'm just gonna keep going. This tray is filled up, so we're gonna put it in our fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's just gonna let that shell on them harden and that way you can serve them without worrying about people's fingers looking a little bit like this. So we'll see you in a few. Our cookies have cooled, the topping on them has set, and now they are ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Center Stage Sweets. And if you wanna help us keep the oven on, you can become a Patreon supporter. For more recipes like this and tips and tricks, you can visit us at centerstagesweets.com. See you next time.